This is a uh, 1958 to a 1966 model 361 I picked up yesterday. Um, it's a big block Mopar. I'm going to, I got it cheap, that's why I decided to get it. And I've never messed with the 361 and I realize that parts are hard to find. It doesn't really have much ridge in it. It's just a stain, so I'm gonna clean it up, see if I can use the same factory pistons and maybe put a little bit of a cam in it and just find a, a car to put it in just as a project to see what I can do with it. And I would also, um, some of the changes over the years that they've made, I'd like to be, I'll probably be looking at some of those. And one thing that's obvious is the rocker shaft mounting. These come with this pedestal type mount and you see they're machined flat here and have oil holes here. Whereas more of the, the more modern ones, I guess you could say, they have a saddle here and just a strap that goes over the bolt that holds them down. I'll probably do a side-by-side -side comparison once I get this cleaned up so you can see what I've got here. And then uh, another set. This, um, I believe until 1966, on the big blocks, I know that 383 that's in that Fury there, when I built it, it was the same way. But on the lifter end, if I can get that to focus, on the lifter end of the push rod here, you can see that it, um, it tapers down. And I just, I finally, I just bought a, tried to find a set of lifters like that, and they didn't have any, so I didn't worry about it. I just bought a, a regular, cam and bought a set of lifters i believe from i mean of push rods from some at the right length and that solved my problem so i'm not sure how fast i'm gonna go along with this i've still got two other projects i'm working on right now and one of them's a 74 duster and the other one is another 66 fury with the push button transmission that's a four door with a 318 poly and I'll be working on that. And as if I run across um, just small technical stuff like that, I'll probably, I'll probably um, do a video on that. Just you know, stuff you run into with with the Mopar stuff. And I'll also probably, when I get these heads tore apart, I'll probably, you know, be I'll, obviously I'll be replacing the valve springs, and I'll put um, different valves in it, and I'll probably clean the heads up just a little bit. You know, not real big port and polish or anything, just a little, just to clean the rough places up in them. And I'll see how, see what we can do with this and see what we can make out of it. I believe stock, this engine, it was a two, it's a two barrel engine. I believe they came with around 300 horsepower and somewhere close to 400 foot pounds of torque. It, if I read my um, specs right, it has the same stroke as a 383 but it's um i believe a 16th of an inch smaller bore that may it be something similar to that but it's just a slightly smaller bore so anyway as i get that get make progress on this i get it tore apart well i'll do a video on what i've got once i get it tore apart 